Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie Deacons again, and I'm coming to you today to talk about something super important. It's something that my brides ask about every single time when I book their sessions, how to choose a, a, how to choose an outfit, outfits for both bride and groom for their engagement session. Uh, this is something that people get a little stressed out about. They're like, where do I go? What do I wear? What should I avoid? All of that. So I am here to talk to, uh, all about it, all about it today. Um, first of all, first of all, we'll talk about color, color choices. Uh, you want to make sure that you're choosing co a color scheme that will complement the wedding colors that you've chosen. Uh, so for example, when you are printing the pictures that go alongside your invitation, that it's all very cohesive and that it makes sense. Um, so you want to make sure that you have color choices on, on that regards. So, um, also, I ask my brides and my brides and my grooms to stay away from wearing too much white on top. It's hard to photograph and it's hard to pull information from like a white white shirt. So ivories, creams, that's totally fine. Um, it, it, so yes, stay away from whites. Too much white. It also like washes you out, right? Okay. Um, patterns. So I, a lot of times, people stay away from patterns. I love patterns like gingham, houndstooth, like plaid. I love patterns, especially if they have color in it. So color, patterns, love all of that. Uh, layering is a good idea. Like men, if they're wearing like a nice vest or like a cardigan or something like that, super cute. Or girls, if you like throw on a jacket, get kind of that different look there. Um, love that. A lot of times I'll ask my brides and my grooms to have two different choices. So like maybe a more casual look, like with some pants or something. Um, and then, or a dressy look, like with a skirt, uh, a, bow tie, a bow tie or a tie for the guy. Um, just so you have like there are different poses that kind of correlate with both of those different looks. Or if you are like, I look good in a dress, so I should wear a dress all the time, bring two dresses. So that's what I love about that is having two different looks. Um, your body type and your comfort levels. I wanna make sure that you are choosing clothing that flatters your body type. So if you're like a pear shape or if you're more, um, what are the other shapes? I just know that I was always pear shape. <laughs> Um, like curvy or if you're more straight up and down if you're two-dimensional <laughs> just make sure that you are wearing something that flatters your body type and it looks good on you try to stay away from, from things that are like too short or see-through it's just something that like you can't even walk in without it writing up that's tricky so stay away from that um, and then also that, that you're comfortable with so that it's comfortable you're comfortable in that style like for the groom a lot of times he will be super comfortable with wearing skinny pants and then you say hey this is my engagement session you're wearing some skinny pants okay because honestly men are not wearing tight enough jeans thank you Europe for wearing awesome fantastic clothing but like here in the United States we just haven't gotten in into our little brains that the men need to be wearing nice tight jeans. So wear skinny pants, tell him to wear skinny pants. He can do it, bear down. You can wear the skinny pants, it's not a big deal, okay? Um, on that same note, don't forget about the groom. A lot of time we put a lot of pressure and stress on finding the right dress or the right heels for the girl, or for the girl but make sure that he is not forgotten. From head to toe, new shoes, new socks, pants, shirt, everything like make sure everything he he gets new everything um yes uh location that's also a huge thing to consider uh a lot of times i'll ask my bride and grooms to like text me a picture of their outfits as they're choosing them and then i find a location based on those outfits uh for example like this one girl had like this very flowy beautiful uh florally dress love it love it and so i was like oh i i would love to photograph that maybe like at a marina or like with a big sky where it's just epic and like we can really show like the movement of this gown uh so that is so, th so that's where I c came up with the inspiration for that. Uh, if, if they choose like something more like jeans or something more rustic, then I'm thinking like maybe an orchard or some like kind of kind of epic farmland, something like that. So um, also on that same rule of thumb, I know I just spoke about white clothing not being easy to photograph. White is okay to photograph if the background is also high key or like a lighter background. So a lot of times you'll see like the family portraits that are taken on the beach with the, like the white sky and the sand and everyone's in their like 
khakis and, and linen and whites. That is okay. Like I can work with that if everyone's kind of in it or if you guys are you're going for that look, which I think is just kind of a little dated. So anyway, maybe don't do that. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, what I'm getting at is like, don't wear a white shirt next to like the mountain-esque big pine tree look because that's hard for me to pull information from that. Or um, anyway, so there's that, that, that idea there. Um, also, again, I just can't even stress this enough. I just need you to be hiring a hair and makeup person for every session. Hair and makeup. I want false eyelashes. I want fantastic contoured face. Just nummy, nummy. Like I want, I want you to look amazing and have professional hair and professional makeup artist is going to make all the difference in the world. If you want to know what my preferred vendors are for that, uh, email me at hello at mackenziedeacons.com and I can send that over your way. Um, but yes, definitely do that. Um, I hope this helped to, uh, help you figure out what you're going to wear for your engagement session. Honestly, engagement sessions are some of my most favorite sessions because they're chill. They're low key. I get to know the bride and groom a little bit better and, um, you know, like what angles they look good at and stuff. So um, anyway, I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in today. <gasps> okay, goodbye. Ah! <laughs>